Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I hope everybody's doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and shout out these two Patreon subscribers before we get started here. One is Jordan C, the other is Fola D, and, and you guys are the lucky recipients of two brand new mugs so you guys can sit with the tea sipping family, okay? So anyways, you guys, I hope everybody is doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Cat Williams situation, honey. I want to break all this shit down. It's been a lot of fuck we going on the past, what, 72 hours, okay? I've been keeping up with all the damn drama. So everything started this past weekend Cat Williams went on to V103, and we all know that Wanda is one of the hosts on the show, okay? And Cat Williams was talking about everything, from him owning his own comedy specials, to how Netflix really works behind the scenes, and how those Netflix offers really work, and why Monique got the deal that she got compared to a Cat Williams. Then he got on the subject of Tiffany Haddish, okay? And a lot of people felt like he was dragging Tiffany Haddish. He also talked about Rel. He also talked about Kevin Hart. Talked about their looks. The entire situation was so messy. It went viral all over social media. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Because we black, they say, oh, you don't even deserve that. So you get Kevin Hart, Lil Rel, Gerard Carmichael, all in a row, Hannibal Burris, just dudes that no woman would talk to in Lennox Mall, something. let alone you making a movie star. Why? Because you know, ain't nobody going to sleep with him. You only got Tiffany Haddish. She's been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. And they are already ready to down Monique and up somebody mm. who has showed them Girls Trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip Goofball? Right. Or do you think that was already a script and they handed it to her? It, I tear up thinking about the break that her. she got. Well, like real, I'm, and that's why they like that her. Is that what they, they like? They love real. Oh, because everybody's real then, so don't trip. No, no, tip. they like Wherever Tiffany Wherever you Haddish at, under the sound of my voice, real. do you have a real co-worker? <laughs> right. Do you have a ratchet friend? Do you have right. a sister? Do you have a cousin? Do you have a nephew? Do you have a niece is they so ghetto when did that become marketable all right so you guys just saw him talking about tiffany haddish kevin hart and everybody else okay but i think what really topped the cake the craziest part of that damn interview was him roasting the shit out of wanda okay so wanda smith you know she's a comedian you know she's done stuff on stage and stuff like that she started with Cat Williams first, okay? And my thing is, you can't start roasting somebody first, and then when you get it, all of a sudden you get in your damn feelings, okay? Cat Williams drug her for the filth. This entire situation was a hot damn mess, and you could tell by the time Cat Williams left the studio, Wanda was definitely in her feelings, especially when social media got that clip and made it go viral and started making memes of Wanda. She definitely took it even more personal. Y'all go ahead and check out this back and forth with Cat Williams and Wanda Smith. Check this out. Red Grant! <laughs> How many kids you got, Wanda? I have three boys. Excellent. Yes, yeah. I do. Aren't boys simple? Mm -hmm. Aren't boys simple? Um, they can be. They can be. Yeah. Wanda know she I'm what? She didn't do as much cooking in the latter years as she uh, did in the beginning. Oh, uh, whatever. I cook. I do it all. I didn't say that you well, didn't. Well, that's right. I did it in the beginning and the middle and the end. What's your favorite wait, wait, thing to wait, cook? Wait, 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 your boys, um, so yeah. They like for me to I do a really nice broccoli. They like my broccoli and they love my baked chicken. Hey, hey, right love. now, look up your phone and see what it takes to make broccoli. And tell me he doesn't oh, say he doesn't say heat up water. Uh, uh, shut up. That's the only step in broccoli. Simmer. Uh, water. Whatever. Simmer. Have you ever heard of burned uh, broccoli? Can whatever, you burn hater. broccoli? Whatever, you can't hater. burn it because it's made in a pot of water. You don't, you don't know nothing about. You know what her uh, second meal they love from her? What I do with corn. Oh, I like to dig it out that can what? and I put it in there. And then I get a can of water and I put it on there. And then I get some Zatarans. They don't expect that. I sprinkle uh, Zatarans I'm a on my great corn. cook. Uh -huh. Whatever. Yes, ma'am. You good at heating stuff up. Uh, you're good at telling us about what's going on in jail. 
Yes, ma'am, and getting out to tell you. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you at an arena named Phillips, and you're going to tell me at the Atlanta Comedy <laughs> That's Theater. That's right, true. Tomorrow, be there. All right. Red Grant <laughs> show, I know Red I'll Grant. be there. Don't miss it. Red <laughs> Grant. To a break real quick? Very All right, proud. well, we go to a break. Shout outs to Forever 21. Yeah. Necklace collection. That's right. Shout out. They don't remember to me for a while and now, right? I'm not the right one to Jones on. Get this inmate out of here. If, if, if you can't get your blood pressure down, you can't call me down. Uh, whatever, little mama. If your cholesterol is 600. Whatever, little mama. I'm little mama's baby daddy. No, you little mama. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hey, and what are you, girl? <laughs> You probably shouldn't talk about sizes. No, that's okay. You're big on the radio. That's right. And you're and you're big Turn in prison. Turn it down. And you're yes, big in prison. I've never been to prison. Uh, you have 19 felonies, times. no convictions. Yeah. Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. No, no. Okay. No, no, okay. no. Calm no, no, down. no. Calm down. Only calm, one of us has twelve dollars worth of jewelry on. Oh, no, no, no. No, no twelve dollars. No, 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 no. That $12 all is available. If you wanna $12. if you wanna have Wanda's jewelry, please uh, go to sit go or quick trip at any point. If you buy two packs of new port. 100. They will give you everything Wanda has on right now. For Honey. Y'all just in that damn back and forth. That entire situation was messy as hell, but you know what? I'm here for a bitch, okay? So anyhow, so after that went viral, we thought everything was all good. Of course, the Emmys were getting ready to come up. Cat Williams was nominated for an Emmy. Tiffany Haddish was nominated for an Emmy. So folks left it well enough alone, okay? Tiffany Haddish ended up responding to Cat Williams. She basically took it in stride. And then Kevin Hart decided to also come out and have Tiffany Haddish's back. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. To embrace my sister when other people are choosing to frown and make an attempt to shit on my sister's bright light, I choose to turn up the knob and, and, and make that light brighter. Shouts out to my sister Tiffany Haddish. What up, uh, Tiff? Star of the movie Girls Trip. Had a phenomenal year. A phenomenal year. Let me break it down to you because I Why love to support. I go back with Tiff. I remember the days when Tiffany Haddish was sleeping out of her car. I remember the days where Tiffany Haddish was homeless. I remember the days where Tiffany Haddish had not a dime in her goddamn pocket. Worked hard, grinded, got to where she is today. And at the, at the height of her career, when most should applaud, when most should celebrate, some choose to down. So you know what I do in this moment? I choose to not only, not only, not only put my baby sister up, but make you guys realize why she deserves to be up. Number one movie in Girls Trip. She starred in a movie called Night School with Me. She's on a TV show with Tracy Morgan called The Last OG. She's got a movie coming out that Tyler Perry did with her, Whoopi Goldberg, Tika Sumter, and many more. She's got another movie coming out with Melissa McCarthy. The girl is working her ass off and in return received the Emmy on SNL for working her ass off. Filmed a special on Showtime, just got a deal with Netflix to go and tape another special. What I see, I see a woman as well deserving of the position that she's in. And more importantly, I see a girl that's now positioned to open up doors for this younger generation of female comedians that are coming after her. Ultimately, one person's success has nothing to do with yours. One person's grind has nothing to do with yours. Instead of frowning, instead of downing, I choose to uplift. I choose to enlighten. I choose to make the world realize that, hey, we as people should learn to simply big each other up and support one another. Because ultimately, when we band together, we're stronger. I'm lucky to have her in my movie, Night School. And I tell you what, in my career, I've had tons of number ones. Oh my God, how much would I love it if night school opened up at number one? Best way to silence haters is to give them more shit to hate about. Everybody quiet now. Everybody quiet now. That's how you kill hate. With success. Oh. I don't know what it is about seeing other people win that makes that makes haters hate. I don't know what it is about other That's people's when you know success. You're That's when you know you're winning. That makes haters so envious. Anybody hating on you, you ain't doing nothing. Then you can't be doing nothing right. You can't. I want to take the time to give a shout out to my guy Lil Rel. Lil Rel. 
funny as hell. Another comedian that I've seen literally go from a place where he once upon a time didn't have to now a place where he has. Let me tell you about Lil Rel. I remember having the opportunity to produce Lil Rel's stand-up special called Relevant. I remember a comedian named Gerard Carmichael who actually wrote, starred, and produced in a TV show who casted Lil Rel and Tiffany Haddish to be in this show. The show became very successful, and in its success, Tiffany and Rel both went off to do thick things. And another thing, my guy Lil Rel even took it upon himself to self-create. Went ahead and produced his own TV show called Relevant that he's now starring and writing in. See, what you realize is that this is amazing young talent that's being active. That's being active and productive and going out and creating their opportunities. Once again, I choose to shine a light on these opportunities and I choose to shine a light on these moments because they deserve it. They deserve the accolades. They deserve the applause. Shouts out to you, Rel. Shouts out to my guy, Gerard. Fuck, man. I couldn't be happier to be your friends. More importantly, I couldn't be happier to call you comedian brothers. Keep shooting for the stars, fellas. And keep giving them stuff to talk about. When your name comes out of people's mouths, it means you're doing something right. All right, so you guys just saw what Kevin Hart had to say along with Tiffany Haddish. So then, that was on Sunday. Then come Monday morning, it was announced all over social media. Wanda was trending, V103 was trending, and Cat Williams was trending all over Twitter. And basically, you're saying that Wanda Smith's husband went to Cat Williams and basically pulled out a gun on him. He told the police that he accidentally dropped his gun, that he'd never pointed it at Cat Williams. And I also was able to get some exclusive video of the situation. I didn't see a gun, but you do see them confronting Cat Williams and you do see Cat Williams running. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out along with the police report. All right, so you guys just saw that exclusive video and you guys also saw the police report. And then there was another comedian who was also there at the time. His name is Zoo Man and he basically went live and he was confirming everything that the police report was confirming that basically somebody pulled out a gun on Cat Williams. So go ahead and check out what Zoo Man had to say about the situation. At the show, Wanda's husband was there, her sons were there, and her husband pulls a gun out on Cat. We was cracking jokes. I just watched the video again. She laughed and was smiling all the way through. I need to know when he pulled the gun out, what was he about to do with a gun? All the staff and the comics that were there, they looking at this joint like, that's where we at, yo. Dude, dudes is pulling out guns. I don't understand, I just watched the joint again. And if you on radio, man, and you interviewing somebody and it gets to roasting, a roasting session, you either got some guns to do roasting or you don't. If you don't, you just bow out, let them get their shots. But she kept going in. And I'm trying to figure out what was said in the video. I don't see nothing in the video that make you say, I'm coming with my sons and my husband on Saturday and he got a gun on him. And he gonna pull that thing out. What's up, D? He gonna pull the thing out. I'm just, I'm looking at how do you do that because what happens next? That's all I gotta think about. When you pull that out, what happens next? Do you have full control over what happens next when you do that? If it gets, if it became a somebody back and forth going, what's next? That's what I'm just, I'm stuck on. Morning. 
So anyhow, he was just running his damn mouth and spilling all types of tea. So Wanda's husband, his name is Lamoris Williams. And the thing that doesn't make sense to me is I don't understand why he would sit there and risk his freedom and risk his wife's job and reputation, okay? You know, this entire situation does not make sense. It's never that damn serious. Cat Williams is literally 90 pounds soaking wet, okay? He could have punched him in the damn forehead, okay, to silence the fuck out of Cat Williams. Why pull out a gun on him? And he's talking about, well, the gun accidentally dropped. Do you realize that guns drop every day and they accidentally kill people? That doesn't justify having a gun on yourself to go confront somebody about your wife's wig and her boiling broccoli, okay? It's never that damn serious. So now after everything was said and done, yes, it was the Emmys. Tiffany Haddish was there. She was looking gorgeous. Then she took to her social media page and she posted a picture of basically Cat Williams on his knees apologizing to Tiffany Haddish. And so it looks like they've made up. And TMZ caught up with Cat Williams afterwards and they asked him and they also asked Tiffany Haddish about the situation. They also asked Cat Williams about the whole gun situation. And he basically ignored them. This had to be the damn longest walk ever, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this audio out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Saying if somebody did pull out a gun, what would you do that for? Um, I'm saying if so it's it not to shoot somebody, to what is it? You know, uh, up on the internet showed you and Tiffany kind of look like you squashed your beef backstage there at Tiffany the Emmys. And I never had any beef. For Tiffany's name, I was um, in a conversation with a non female comedian about female comedians. That was a no-no. So I've been chastised enough by Wanda Sykes and uh, <laughs> others to see the error of my work. <laughs> <laughs> How did Wanda help you guys get resol uh, How did uh, Kat resolve things with you? It never was a problem, sir. All right, so you guys just saw TMZ basically harassing Cat Williams and also asking Tiffany Haddish about the situation. So like I said, it's just turned into a whole clusterfuck, okay? All of this drama has been going on since the weekend and everything just went to a head. I think if it's true what Wanda's husband did, Cat is not really wanting to talk about this situation, probably because the police are investigating. But if it comes out that it's true, Wanda and her husband were dead wrong, okay? You don't bring your husband to come and confront somebody, especially when you guys are comedians and everything's supposed to be about jokes, okay? Too many folks want to wear the title comedian, but then when the shit gets real, then they want to get in their damn feelings, okay? You know, you just can't do that. That's unacceptable. You got to decide. Are you going to be the comedy person or are you just going to sit there and be professional? You can't start a roast session and then when you lose, you get in your feelings and you want to go grab your husband, okay? Because her husband, if they do end up charging his ass, he could be looking at serious time. You can't go around pointing guns in people's faces and trying to confront them about what they said about your damn wife, okay? Now, as far as the Tiffany Haddish thing, like I said on Instagram, I always feel like this. Cat Williams is definitely a true teller he speaks his truth okay keyword his truth as he sees it and one thing about the truth like I always tell y'all the truth does not bring people together it divides people and Cat Williams knows how to do that okay he was speaking a lot of true facts while I like Tiffany Haddish you know what I'm saying she's been blessed beyond belief you know for her to go from being homeless and you know struggling she's been doing comedy since she was about 15 16 years old to her winning an Emmy she's definitely doing her thing I would never take that from her but I definitely understood what Cat Williams was saying because let's keep it real a lot of the roles that Tiffany Haddish has played has been stereotypical ghetto loud mouth black female roles okay i haven't seen her play much variety and you can be funny and don't have to be super ratchet super ghetto you can be funny and you don't have to have a puppet looking up your dress or looking down your dress i feel like sometimes her comedy can be borderline coonish at times can be borderline super ratchet at times you know what i'm saying but i understand that that's what sells right now but that's all cat williams was trying to say that you know we all have cousins we have brothers we have sisters we all have people in our family but when has it ever been cool for us to only show that particular member, for us to only show the ratchet family member. You know, even when I went to go see uh, Uncle Drew, which was a basketball movie where they all dressed up like older people, and that was the one thing that irritated me in that movie is that I just felt like Tiffany Haddish plays the same character over and over again as opposed to really showing her acting strength, okay? 
It should be a technical foul or something. I'm going to kick you off this court like I kicked you out my house. That's right. That's me, okay, everybody? Excuse me. I don't know who you are or what this is about, but could you please take it back to the stand so we can play some ball? Who are you? If you keep talking, you're going to find out. Oh, you about to find out, honey. I come from a long line of choir members, and we going to clap back. You what do you do? Clap you up. But other than that, besides Tiffany perpetuating some negative stereotypes of black women, I do enjoy her and I do respect her hustle. I do respect her struggle because it's not easy to make it in this game at all. And, you know, even though I'm not a fan of Kevin Hart, you know, what I'm saying in his cheating damn ways, I do respect him for coming back at Cat Williams in a respectful manner and for uplifting Tiffany Haddish as not only a co-worker, but a friend and him singing her praises. Because at the end of the day, even if we don't all necessarily get along or like each other, we all do have to respect each other at the end of the day, okay? Granted, you may not like, you know, Kevin Hart's comedy. That might not be your cup of tea or Tiffany Haddish or hell, even Cat Williams. But at the end of the day, there should be a respect factor. It seems like whatever was said is now water under a bridge. And I'm glad that Cat Williams and Tiffany Haddish were able to make up make amends they both walked away with emmy awards like this year's emmys was definitely popping a lot of black winners a lot of black nominees so i'm proud of everyone who took home an award last night so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.